we humbly request the honorable prime minister of india to deliver the convocation address governor of tamil nadu thiru rn davji chief minister of tamil nadu thiru m k stalin ji vice chancellor of the bharati dasan university thiru m selvan ji my young friends teachers and support staff of the university vanakkam enad manav kudumba be being here at the 38th convocation ceremony of the bharati dasan university is special for me this is my first public interaction in 2024 i am happy to be in the beautiful state of tamil nadu and among young people i am also glad to learn that i am the first prime minister to have the privilege of coming to a convocation here i congratulate the graduating students their parents and teachers up on this important occasion enad manav kudumba me often the creation of a university is a legislative process in act is passed and a university comes into being later colleges are started under it then the university grows and matures into the hub of excellence however with bharati dasan university the case is slightly different when it was created in 1982 many existing and prestigious colleges were brought under your university some of these colleges already had a track record of producing great people so bharati dasan university started on a strong and mature foundation this maturity has made your university impactful in many domains whether it is humanities languages science or even satellites your university makes a unique mark enad manav kudumba me our nation and civilization have always been centered around knowledge some of the ancient universities such as nalanda and takshashila are well known similarly there are references of places like kanchipuram housing great universities gangai kon cholpuram and madurai were also great seeds of learning students from across the world used to come this places enad manav kudumba me similarly even the concept of a convocation is very ancient and well known to us for example take the ancient tamil sangam meeting of poets and intellectuals in sangams poetry and literature were presented for the analysis of others after analysis the poet and their work were recognized by larger society 
this is the same logic used in academia and higher education even today so my young friends you are a part of a great historical tradition of knowledge enad manav kutumba be universities play a crucial role in giving direction to any nation whenever universities were vibrant our nation and civilization were vibrant too whenever nation was attacked our knowledge system were targeted immediately in the early part of the 20th century people like mahatma gandhi pandit madan mohan malaviya and sir anna malai chetiar started universities these were hubs of knowledge and nationalism during the freedom struggle similarly one of the factors behind the rise of india today is the rise of our universities india is setting records in economic growth at the fast fastest growing major economy at the same time our universities are also entering global rankings in record numbers enad manav kudumba me your university has awarded degrees to many of you today your teachers family friends everyone is happy for you in fact if you are seen outside wearing your graduation gown people will congratulate you even if they do not know you this must make you think deeply about the purpose of education and how society looks at you with hope gurudev ramadana tagore said that the highest education does not give us just information but it helps us to live in harmony with all existence the whole of society including the poorest of the poor played a role in bringing you to this important day therefore giving back to them creating a better society and country is the true purpose of education the science you learn can help a farmer in your village the technology you learn can help solve complex problems the business management you learn can help run businesses and ensure income growth for others the economics you learn can help work on reducing poverty the languages and history you learn can help work on strengthening culture in a way every graduate here can help contribute to creating a developed india by 2047 enad manav kutumba me i am confident in the ability of young people to make the year till 2047 the most important in our history great poet bhartidasan said pudiyador ulagam sevyom this is also your university's motto this means let us create a brave new world indian youth are already creating such a world young scientists help us ship vaccines to the world during covid 19 indian science is on the world map through missions like chandrayaan our innovators took the numbers of patents 
from around 4,000 in 2014. Balu is here. 4,000 in 2014 to almost 50,000 now. Our humanity scholars are showcasing the India story to the world like never before. Our musicians and artists are continuously bringing international awards to our country. Our athletes won record number of medals in Asian Games, Asian Para Games and other tournaments. and scale. In the last few years, we have worked to match you in speed and scale so that we can benefit you. In the last 10 years, the numbers of airports had doubled from 74 to nearly 150. Tamil Nadu has a vibrant coastline. So you would be happy to know that the total cargo handling capacity of major ports in India had doubled since 2014. The speed of road and highway construction in the country has almost doubled in the last 10 years. The number of registered startups in the country has grown to almost 1 lakh. This was less than 100 in 2014. India has also sealed a number of trade deals with important economies. The deals will open up new markets for our goods and services. They also create countless new opportunities for our youth. Whether it is strengthening institutions like the G20, fighting climate change, or playing a bigger role in the global supply chain, India is being welcomed as a part of every global solution. In many ways, due to the local and global factors, this is the best time to be young in India. Make the most of this time to make our country to new heights. Aidan Madhav Kudumbabe, some of you may be thinking that today is the end of university life for you. That may be true, but it is not the end of learning. You will not be taught by your professors anymore, but life will become your teacher. In the spirit of constant learning, it is important to proactively work on unlearning, reskilling, and upskilling. Because in a rapidly transforming world, either you drive change or change drives you. Once again, I congratulate the young people graduating here today, I wish you all the best for a bright future. Mikka Nanari. Udunikudun Chedi Glitter Regulation News Bill Like Anna Click Pannunga.